Hello, people. I haven't had a camp for a while. <clears throat> it's not very nice weather. It's pouring down my rain. But I've got a couple of new toys to do reviews on and try out. I prefer the hammock camping, which I think you know. But this time, I've got a small tent. See you later. Sky's pretty grey. <laughs> We've had a lot of rain. And uh, in a way, I hope we're going to get a bit more. Because I like to try out this tent and uh, give a as best review of it as I can. But um, I won't waste the battery too much now. I'll get a bit closer to where I've decided to camp. Goodbye. Getting there now, lights begin to fade. There's not a lot to see, unfortunately. It's uh, it's really gloomy. The air is thick with water, so I'm expecting a bit more rain. I've been camped in the rain for ages, so I hope the tent keeps me dry. Glasses keep steaming up, I can't see where the heck I'm going. Right, the weather's not any better, and it's beginning to get quite dark. So just in case I can't get any film done later, I'll just show you where I am. You probably can't see a damn thing in there. I'll take you out to the field. <coughs> yeah, I'll see more in the morning. I will try and get the tent up uh, on film tonight. This camera's no good in the dark. I'm right in that corner. The tarp's up. Trying to keep the backpack a bit dry. As you can see, just a bit of light left over there. But under here where I am, and I'll get right up to the tarp just to see if you can if I suck in enough light to show you. But uh, I've no idea what you can see and what you can't see. Right, I'm going to crack on for now and try and get this tent up while there's still some light. I wanted to get a little tent and I chose this one, Mountain Warehouse Backpacker 2. There's no way you can have two people in it. I camped last night and um, it was really bad weather, it rained, it was getting dark when I got here. And uh, let's see where I am. <clears throat> anyway, you can get this tent for 50 quid, and uh, I had a £10 off voucher, so you can try asking for one of those, if you spend over £50, so I bought something small, um, which I needed to buy anyway, and um, really I got it for less than 50 quid. Uh, for its money, it's really not bad. Uh, it wasn't that difficult to put up. The first thing you want to do is chuck away the pegs, the reason they aren't in the ground properly is because if you try and push them in any further, they bend. So I would the first thing I'll do is bend, bin them pegs and buy some better pegs. But it has two poles, one big one, one small one at the bottom. You put up the the um, inner first, and then the fly sheet goes over the top. Now you can see it in there. There is not a lot of room. I'm almost six foot. Um, there is not a lot of room. I'll be honest, it's, it's, it is it's it is not. There's a lot of room at the top here for your head is. But um, then you go down to your main part of your body and there isn't a lot of room. But it's very light. This is not a heavy tent. So 
if you want something that's light and cheap, it's not a bad option. But, um, yeah, the tent pegs, get rid of them straight away. Because they're rubbish. I'll be bidding them. But it rained last night. It rained for most of the night. And I'm I'm dry. Never got a drop of water in there. Not a drop. When I arrived here, it was starting to get dark. I have shot some other video, but I'm not certain that it's actually took. So um, I'll run through everything again. I had to cobble this tarp up in uh, some kind of fashion, tying it to trees, just so I could uh, get some kind of camp going. And uh, as you can see, I got my waterproofs hanging up last night. I could do that in the dark. It's a nice piece of woodland near where I live. And uh, I'll come get you back to me later because I have a new stove that I wanted to do a little trial with. But for now, the mountain warehouse backpacker two tent. No good for two people. Just about good enough for one person. Um, as long as you're of average build. If you're of large build, then uh, you definitely need something else. But it is very light and it is incredibly cheap at 50 quid. And it rained last night and kept me dry. So, uh, speak later. Cheers, bye. Right, I bought this little little gas stove. I've never had one before. This is a Primus. I can't remember which one it's called. I'll try and find out in the box later. Uh, the reason I chose this one is um, some of them just have like a three-pronged triangle effect on top. And I didn't think that'd be big enough for my 12 centimetre Zebra Billy can. So, um... I went for this design. Uh, it's a bit more meaty on top. As you can see, the 12 centimeter Zebra Billy can sits on top fine, as with the 14 centimeter. And I suppose the, the 10 centimeter would be okay as well. But there's not much to it. It wasn't a lot of money. Um, and there it is. It's the first time it's been on. Never used it before. Got a little just comes into two pieces and then the third piece would be the canister and uh, there it is boiling water away but it sounds like it's almost boiled but um first time i've used it um i know there's lots of different stoves out there and a lot of you will be wondering what to buy but um uh the reason i like this one is because i've got a 12 centimeter zebra billy can and uh i think it fits on top fairly well you can see the design at the top um, sure enough, it sits very stable. Uh, it isn't on full power. Um, it's only it's only just turned on. To be honest, it it seems to rage. Uh, I think it it doesn't take long to boil water. I'll open it up in a minute when I turn the camera off. But um, I'm just going to sit and have a cup of coffee. I'm underneath my tarp set up. See all the rain from last night. See how I've managed to cobble this together in the trees. So I was getting soaked. And that's where I pitched my tent. On the edge of the field. So I'm going to settle down now. And have a, have a coffee. Making scrambled egg for my breakfast. I think it's going to be a nice day. Well, I'm all packed up. I might do a quick review of some of the gear when I get home. But the first thing I'm going to do is get all the stuff on the washing line because um, tarp and tent are absolutely, the fly is all absolutely soaked. So that's where I've been camping last night. That was where my tarp was. And that's where the tent was. 
not leaving any rubbish behind. No rubbish behind, no problems. It was a, uh, it was an interesting night. <laughs> uh, hadn't come to the rain for ages, but um, yeah, yeah, it was okay. Right, I'll just put you down for a minute. Hang around so you can see where we've been. Speak soon. <laughs>